Hey guys, so if you're watching this, it means I successfully uploaded my video to Oaxaca. Unfortunately, I did lose some of my footage when I was there. Um, thanks to me, my hard drive somehow kissed the floor. Um, so I lost quite a bit of footage there. So this video is only going to show day two of Oaxaca because I lost all of day one. <laughs> Currently at this archaeological site called Monte Alban. It's in um, Oaxaca and we're going to be exploring this area most of the day. And we're exploring the city too of Oaxaca all day. Um, and we're starting here at this archaeological site. Here in Oaxaca, we're going to find 16 different cultures, 16 different ethnic groups. Among them, we have two main cultures in the area. There is a culture here in Oaxaca whose name is the Mixtecs. I am loving um, Mexico so far. It's been such a great experience. I mean, this is day four, and I feel like we've seen so much already. I mean, you guys have seen so much already. Um, yeah, and I don't know. Maybe this is one of the places I would possibly move to? Huh. If you don't live in Mexico, do you think it's somewhere that you would um, visit or live? You could comment down below. I wanna hear what you guys think about Mexico in general and what city maybe what city would you like to visit in Mexico and um, yeah if you would move here or live here or just visit This is one of the widest tree in the world. In the village of Santa Maria de Tule. Tule? Tule. So it's like a mini garden here. There's lots of like flowers and it's so pretty. Little flowers carved or trimmed into like these, these mini animals looking thing. <laughs> but yeah, it looks like this garden is really well kept and it is right across from the widest tree, which is there. And then you have this little garden where you could kind of just sit and relax and probably contemplate on a couple of key issues. <laughs> about an hour and a half bus ride to this famous waterfall here in Oaxaca and um, we might possibly swim here so we'll see so water will fill a couple of artificial swimming pools first the only artificial thing uh, things are gonna be the swimming pools that's where you can swim and as I said yesterday water goes to the edge of the mountain it's too little water there's 
almost like almost nothing through the water. What has happened here is that uh, the same way stalactites and stalagmites are created in caves after thousands of years of mineralized water dropping, the same way after thousands of years of water added on the fall of the mountain, uh, they have created that amazing spectacular view of what we call the petrified waterfalls. The main minerals this water has are uh, iron, manganese, but the main one is calcium. It's mainly calcium carbonate. So that is the waterfall made out of calcium. That thing right there. There. <laughs> This is the material that we use. This is the wool, this is the sheep. Okay. Uh, we buy the wool, this is from it. Because this hole in the wool is longer than the rest. So we are currently having a mezcal tasting, which is like a distilled alcohol beverage. Um, it's a little different from tequila, but it's um, from the agave plant as well. So we're about to try out some mezcal. <laughs> We're about to go into the real market, which is supposedly tight. Oh, hey, say hey! Hey! Grasshoppers, guys. 
Yeah. Um, it tastes really limey. Oh, no. Um, guys, this is what the Asian civilization in Mexico you see is that protein. <laughs> okay, I'm eating it. I'm eating it. Grasshopper, eating it. Oh. Lime flavored grasshopper. Very chocolatey. <laughs> Dancing and trying oh chocolate. No. fun.